Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Jun Xie from Yumen Chen Medical School. I would like to thank the Yaya Foundation to give me the opportunity to present our Going Gene Surgery project. Working with Dr. Gao, uh, Dr. Benedict, we are developing a gene therapy product to treat possibly related drug dystrophy using adenal associated virus. Your gene based therapy can be divided into two types based on how the medicine are given to the patient. One can give a patient directly, like a shot, we call it in vivo. The medicine can be uh, nucleic acid or viral vector carrying. Them. Once the medicine was given to the human body, uh, the virus or the nucleic acid will uh, go to the cells with defects. And fix them. Right now, the three uh, viral vectors are used to treat a human disease. All of them are AAV vectors. The first one was developed and approved first in Europe uh, as used to treat lipid metabolism defects. The second was developed to treat blindness. The third one is to treat muscle atrophy. Nuclear acid is also widely and rapidly developed to treat variable disease. Uh, the second approach called ex vivo uh, uh, therapy. The cells was isolated from human patients, genetic and modified uh, in the lab, expanded and put back into human patients. Uh, this approach is used to treat blood cancer with very high efficacy. Today, I will focus uh, on AV based in vivo gene therapy. To develop a gene therapy product, four key components need to be considered. The first one is circuit gene. Uh, we need to know what gene we want in our cells, and we uh, design therapeutic genes to fix them. The second one is vector, which is a vehicle to deliver the therapeutic gene in the disease associated cell. The third one is that uh, how we give the gene therapy product to human patients. We inject them into our blood vessel directly or into the disease organ. Uh, this all needs to evaluate in uh, any models. The efficacy and safety need to be tested in any model or uh, large animals that can mimic the human disease. After all this process, uh, the gene search product can be tested in humans, uh, as we said, clean trials. Vectors is the key for gene search. The three viral vectors one is adenovirus, one is lantivirus, uh, the third one, AAV. Uh, we're going to use treat the uh, pulsary related local dystrophy. Uh, the ideal feature for viral vectors uh, is uh, following. First, it, it needs to be very efficient. The second, we want one shot uh, last forever. Uh, the third, we don't want the virus uh, very high immunogenicity or it's toxic. Otherwise, our body uh, will kick the virus out of our body. Then the therapeutic gene will be lost the therapy outcome will be gone. And also the last one, we want the vector to be safe. We don't want the vector genome integrated into our genome, uh, which will be unsafe. Uh, Antivirus and lantivirus, they have their strengths, but with some uh, drawbacks. Fortunately, AV vectors have all these uh, strengths, but low, Obviously, I go back. It's very, it's very efficient. Uh, it's very safe. There's no known uh, human disease uh, related uh, AV virus. Uh, it can uh, last forever, at least in mice. It lasts uh, for its whole lifespan. And also, AV I don't into in, I don't integrate I integrate in our uh, genome, which render it. Uh, very good safety profile. 
to engineer the Y type A genome uh, into therapeutic regions. Uh, two protein uh, encoding gene wrap and cap were moved. Instead, the therapeutic set was incorporated uh, into the virus genome. Only the packaging signal uh, was still remaining in the therapeutic vector. The acetylene as a packaging signal introduced as uh, the AV virus. AV gene therapy is a teamwork. AV capsid determine uh, what cells uh, they will get in. Uh, right now, they are lying major AV uh, capsid. Uh, they can transduce uh, multiple uh, tissues like muscle, uh, liver, brain, heart, eyes, pancreas. Uh, right now, still scientists are developing uh, more AV capsid for better efficacy and the specificity uh, into different cells. Uh, uh, after AAD capsid gets in cells, it will release its genome as a therapeutic uh, product. Now let's, let's assume the, the cells uh, uh, or the disease-related cells uh, received the viral vector. If the disease is caused by a mutation that uh, the gene are not functional, then the AV vector can provide a correct and a functional copy into the cells uh, to supplement the protein the cells are missing. If the cells have the mutation which is toxic to the cell, then the AV virus can deliver an inhibitor to silence the mutated gene expression then the toxic toxicity to the gene, to the cell will be gone. By doing this, uh, the cell will survive. And also you may hurt uh, gene editing. Uh, this is a very a promising approach for future gene therapy. Uh, they can convert our mutated gene into correct version. Once we overcome the shortcomings of the low gene editing efficacy and over-targeting effects, uh, uh, we are very optimistic that the gene editing approach in gene therapy will be uh, more promising. Except these uh, three AV vectors I mentioned at the very beginning, uh, they are about, I think there are more than 100 AV vectors uh, are on the clinical trials. Those diseases uh, are neurological disease, uh, metabolic disorder, bleeding disorder, ocular gene uh, defects, and muscular uh, problems. Among all those diseases, uh, CNS gene therapy got the most attention because only AV vector can transduce brain cells deficient, not other vehicle or uh, chemical. Uh, so the AV vector make the gene therapy, make the CNS disease, which cannot be treatable, now become uh, feasible. As you may know that the fourth AV medicine that could treat ADC deficiency which is also a brain disease, will be approved very soon in Europe. Then how we treat the post 3 uh, are related uh, because it's true. post 3 gene uh, is deficient uh, in our cells. Uh, that's below. And also, uh, it's reasonable if we can uh, supplement a correct version of the three gene in the disease-related cells, we may be able uh, to rescue the disease. Right now, we have construct the AV genome that can express post three gene efficiently. This has been validated in the uh, cell culture. Now, we need to know what AV capsid we can use to deliver uh, this uh, therapeutic gene. Uh, 
uh, right now, uh, Dr. Bennett's lab is testing multiple AV capsules uh, in the mouse brain to figure out uh, which capsule can transduce the disease-related cells uh, the best. Once below the surface uh, information, we'll produce the AV vectors uh, expressing this function of post regime and test in the disease mouse model, which is available right now. I hope our team effort uh, could bring a promise to the patient with post-re decision. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. And thus, I want I to thank the foundation and Dr. Guang Ping for his support. So I want to thank Dr. Gao and Dr. Xia for their work and for their presentation. They're, they're of course, not here to take questions, but uh, Valerie Greger, our science director, is. So um, maybe I'll pause and ask if anyone has, has questions regarding the gene therapy presentation. Yeah, Aaron. On. Yeah. So you said which which method was most um, promising? So I, that depends on the disorder, and I think for Paul, uh, for our disorder, for Paul Arthur's uh, related disorder, it's replacement, and this is really. Um, Dr. Gao and Dr. Xi, their expertise, or one of their many ones, is really to, um, you know, construct the, the envelopes for the genes to be delivered to the cells that they should go to, um, um, which doesn't actually quite answer your question, but, um, and one of the take home messages I wanted you to really have from his presentation, if you remember the, the picture with the pie charts of the tissues that can be targeted, uh, this is a wide variety and they're working on that you can, uh, you know, bring genes into the tissues where they are needed. I think this is one of them. And as I said, the question of um, whether you use gene replacement, gene editing, uh, or other methods really depends on your mutations and your genes. Um, and currently for us, uh, AAV replacement is most promising. But it was a long answer. <laughs> yes. The question was which mouse model uh, are used for the studies? Um, and I think that Mark will speak more to that later, but it's Polar 3B. Uh, it's the B mouse rather than the A mouse. 